that today we're using no equipment, no steps, no bands, a mat would be great, um, but that's it, no equipment. I'm just gonna give it a go. We're gonna see how much awesomeness we can produce with just our own bodies. All right, and then of course, card pull, oh, it's too long. Sometimes she gets wordy. Here we go, okay. I am so excited about how much is still in store for me to receive. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Every day is a new fucking adventure. Receive, 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 and give, but receive, for sure. Um, okay, I'm starting the playlist on my end. Um, I believe I'm starting the playlist on my end. There we go, now I hear it. And that was way too loud. Um, it's in the chat if you'd like it. I'll add it one more time for Bella who just joined. Good morning. Chat is in the playlist. Quick reminder, Bella, we have no equipment today, okay? All right, let's, huh? Yeah, let's get going here. Okay, so we are, there's the right angle, okay. We're starting, Andrea, I want you to keep your feet on the ground. We're starting with about 30 seconds of this super, super light jog in place. So a really, really stupidly light, but it's perfect. Do you ever see somebody still jogging at a stoplight or like a red light? I never thought it was an issue until I heard some runners make fun of somebody for it. And I was like, what the hell? Whatever, they're still just moving, they're in their flow. Let them be. We've got 10 more seconds right here. We'll go through the warm up three times, just so you know. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go into leg swings. So right leg kicks forward and back this first round. Really just listen to your body. If it needs to stay kind of low to the ground, amazing. Just keep it right there. We're gonna swing for five, for four, three, two, one. Switch over to the other side, left leg up to the front and back. Perfect. About 10-ish on each side here. Nice work. Perfect, we're going for five, for four, for three, for two. And one, okay, so this one, you're gonna bring your knee up to the front, around to the back, kick to there, and then bring it right back up. So it's around to the side, tip forward, and then bring it back up. Hip cars would not have us lean forward like this, so a hip car would have us stay very upright. So we are changing it and going into this forward lean. One more to the front, around to the side, forward lean, Perfect, other leg up to the front. As you tip around to the side, forward lean, finding your balance, woo, knee comes up. <laughs> of course I say balance and then lose mine, perfect. Three more, up and around, perfect. It's very hard to look at you guys <laughs> and do this. <laughs> Good, one more, up to the front, circle it around, hip hinge, perfect. Let's start at the end of our mat. Reach way, way up, <clears throat> however you'd like, forward fold down, walk out to a plank position, 20 shoulder taps. Here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk the hands back toward your feet, bending your knees if you need to, roll on up and we jog in place. Round two. So about 30 seconds here, if you're feeling warmer, you can choose to let the feet leave the floor a little bit more. Just so you all know, there's no denying it. We're all aging, right? It happens. As we age, we probably need more warm up time. Just saying. Including myself, yeah, including myself. 35 next Thursday, three, two, one, leg swings, right leg up to the front. For two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching feet, left leg up. For two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Right knee lifts, circle it around, hip hinge, drive that knee back up. Circle, smooth, nice and slow, and then drive up for two. Circle, hip hinge, drive up for three, two more. Circle it around, beautiful, drive it up, last one. Good, other side. Left knee lifts, circle it around, hip hinge, drive it up. Beautiful. Whew. Nice work. Soften that right standing leg. Hip hinge. Drive it up. Two more. Circle out and wide. Nice and wide. Drive it up. Belly stays tight. Last one. Beautiful. Get to the back of your mat. Walk it out. Shoulder taps. Go ahead. Tap it out. Make sure that lower core is drawn up and in. Also, let's make sure that we've got tension in our quads and within your glutes. Push tall and long through both heels. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Walk it back. When you're ready, last time, draw it out. About 30 seconds. This time I'm going to lift my knees a little bit more. Excellent. Try to be nice and light on your toes. 15 more seconds. Last 10. Last 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leg swings up to the front for 2, 3, 4, 5. Go big. 7. Eight, nine, ten. Other side. For two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hip circles. Two, a single leg deadlift. Drive that knee up. Circle it around. For two. Circle around. Hip hinge for three. Belly stays tight. Really working that standing leg. One more circle, hip hinge, switch sides. Should be feeling this Woo. within your glutes, specifically of the standing leg. Drive it back up. We have three more. Excellent. Swoop it through. Nice job. One more. Great job. Walk it back. Last time. Walk it out, plank position, nice body line as you start your shoulder taps. Beautiful. A little bit of rocking side to side would be totally fine, although if you'd like to, you can try to stabilize more and more. We'll go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Okay, so if anything is tight, feeling a little tight, Please, by all means, bring it through a little bit of dynamic stretching Oops. Uh, while I discuss what we have going on here. So, we are working for 30 seconds, shorter set, which is nice. Working for 30 seconds, resting for 10. We have five movements, and we'll go through three times. So the first one, we have skaters. Now, if you're not quite warm, you're going side to side, you're not actually getting airborne. If you're warm and you want, take it into more of a jump. The next one, five mountain climbers into one push-up. So we're here. One, two, three, four, five, push-up. One, two, three, four, five, push-up, okay? Of course, drop to your knees if you need to, making sure that your shoulders are still right over your wrist, okay? We then go into crisscross squat jumps. So what that means, cross, drop down, cross, drop down. If you don't want to jump, what I want you to do, squat, kick, squat, kick. That way you're still getting a bit of the inner thigh, your adductors, okay? Knee to elbow plank, two more moves. Plank position, bring that knee up to the side, and just so you know, I do side bend 
So as I bring the knee up, I actually do shoot my hips out the other way, okay? We don't need to stay centered. You can bend and twist, okay? So knee up wide, final one, modified burpee. So starting tall, hands go to the floor, hop, stand it up, or step, step. Also a little bit easier if your hands are elevated, so add an incline, okay? Ready? We're gonna sweat. I'm ready. Five seconds. Skaters. In three, two, here we go. 30 seconds. Side to side, taking it where you need to go. Beautiful. Nice and light on your toes. You have about 15 seconds left. Nice. Come on. Side to side. Let's go. Come on. Push. We have six. We have four. Three, two, and one. Ten seconds. Five mountain climbers to one push up. We take off in three, two. Here we go. So five mountain climbers, one push up. Two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Now, if you screw up the count, that is okay. Just make sure you're doing a variety of mountain climbers to push ups. Beautiful. Just about 10 seconds left. Push, push, push. Come on. You've got it. Three, two, one. Nice job. Cross, squat jumps. Start with the feet wide. Three, two, here we go. Cross, drop down, cross, drop down. Nice and light on your toes. Beautiful. Come on. Yes, just about 10 seconds. Come on. We have five. We have three, two, and one. Whew. Knee to plank, or plank, knee to elbow. Three, two, here we go. Side bend. Exhale as you bring the knee up. Inhale as you go back. This can, of course, be done on the forearms or in an incline. Side bend. Each time, break that line. Come on. We have seven. Beautiful work. Strong legs. Three, two, stand it up. Pants were a bad idea. I'm gonna be real hot. Four, modified burpee. Three, two, here we go. Light on your toes. Twenty seconds. Nice work. Come on. We have fifteen. Ten. Belly stays pulled in. Come on. We have five. Three. Two. One. Starting over from the top with our skaters. Three. Two. Here we go. Side to side. Light on your toes. Beautiful. Nice work. Core is still active here. Landing light. Come on. Let's go. Ten more seconds. Getting that heart rate up. Three. We have two. And one. Mountain climbers, push up. Five to one. Three, two. Here we go. Breathe. Keep the shoulders right over your wrist. Nice work. 
Beautiful. Come on. Nice. Come on. Beautiful. Three, two. Woo. Squat, jump, crossover. Start with those feet apart. Three, two. Here we go. Drop down. Cross, drop, cross, drop. Nice. Come on. Beautiful. Keep the core tight. Come on. You got it. Light on your toes. Push. Come on. Yes. Seven seconds. Feel your body work for you. Come on. Three, two, one. Woo. Knee to elbow in a plank position. Woo. Three, two. Here we go. Exhale and side bend. Inhale back to center. Remember those audible exhales do help. Push it. Let's go. Come on. You're so strong. That internal body sends us up. Let's get it going. Come on. Two and one. Oh. Modified burpee. Three, two, here we go. Come on, light on the toes. How quickly can you go from plank back to standing? 15 seconds right here. Come on. Let's push. Come on, come on. We have four, we have three, two, one. One more round, we'll get a break, it's coming. Skaters, three, two, here we go. Last time through, come on. So, so good, we're pushing. We feel our bodies, they're for sure alive, connect. What is it telling you right now? Is it saying I hate carry? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's fine for right now. <sighs> Three, two, one. <sighs> it burns, it hurts, but it also feels really good. Mountain climber, push up. Three, two, here we go. <sighs> Remember, it's five to one. Keep your core turned on. Come on. Squeeze your butt. Push, 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 push. Let's go. Nice work. Three, two, one. Woo. Crisscross. Applesauce. Squat jumps. Three, two. Here we go. Come on. Push. Come on. There we go. Yes. Light on your toes. Last time with this one. Come on. You got it. You got it. 10 seconds. Come on. Push. We have five. We have three. Two. One. Big exhales. Plank position. Knee to elbow. Three, two, here we go. Exhale as you side bend. Pull the core up and in. Spread your fingers out. Grip the floor with your hands. It helps so much in your plank position and in the health of your wrists. 10 seconds. Come on. Don't you give up. Push. Let's go. Three, two, one. Mm. The dark music just turned on and it helped.
helped me tremendously. Three, two, modified burpee. Here we go. Come on. Push. Don't you give up. You can step it out. You can move slower. You just don't give up. Come on. 15 seconds. 10. You got this. Come on. Five. We have three. Two. And one. All right. Good job. Breathe. Bring your heart rate down. Towel off. Oh man. That was a good one. Okay. Next up. I really liked the short segment. But, unfortunately, or fortunately, we are moving on and we are going, ready, for 60 seconds. You got five seconds to transition. So our goal here is to work solidly through for 12 minutes. So feet start wide. This one's gonna look a little weird on camera, but just watch for a second. So feet are wide. We're gonna Cossack squat, right and then left. We walk our hands out. We do a push up. We walk back, stand it up and go, go. So feet stay wide the whole time, okay? You might find that you need to reposition them at some point. We're then going to do four reverse lunges. So this is our reverse lunge. Okay, we know that. Then we're going to go into four squat jumps. With your squat jumps, feet can be here. They can be wide. I don't care where they're at. You can leave the ground or you can rise up on your toes. Up, right? That works just as well. We then have single leg V-ups, which you all know, right? We'll do 10 of those into 10 arch ups. So you'll roll over and go into your arch ups 10 times. Please don't be jerky with those, take your time, okay? We then finish with a hip dip. I'm breathless. Knee to elbow, shoulder tap, and then flip. So we're here, lower the hip, rise up, we're here, oops, I forgot. Hip dip, knee to elbow, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, turn. Hip dip, knee to elbow, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and turn. So really we're testing your brain, <laughs> okay? All right, taking off in three seconds. Let's not even think about it. Cossack, two, here we go. Sit low, low. Walk it out to a push-up. Push yourself back, your back up. <sighs> sitting low, sitting low. Walking it out. Elbow squeeze in for a nice strong tricep focused push-up. <sighs> now, if we're not on the same pace, that's totally fine. I want you to listen to your body. One minute of work is a lot, all right? Listen to your body. As you do warm up here, if you feel you wanna lift this foot as you sit low, that is a true Cossack. Usually it takes us a little time to get there in terms of mobility. Beautiful, we have seven seconds. Nice work. Three, two, one. Four reverse lunges two, four squat jumps. Step it back for two, for three, for four, four squat jumps. Beautiful. When you're ready, step it back again. There's a wall right behind me. <laughs> nice. So see, we don't actually have to move all that fast. Everything that we're doing, on its own, it's gonna get our heart rate up. We're also doing a lot of compound movements. We're working upper body and 
lower body. That means we're working that much harder. Beautiful. Come on, external rotation on both the lunges and the jumps. Seven seconds. Come on. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Single leg knee ups. Three, two. So here we go. So each rep counts. We have 10 of these. After your 10, you're going to flip over and do 10 arch ups. I'm on seven, eight, nine, ten. I flip onto my stomach, arms overhead, and I lift ten times. Nice and controlled. It's really hard to breathe. Nice work. When you're done with that, flip it back over. 20 seconds. We have three, we have two, and one. Nice work. Hip dip, knee to elbow, so arm is up. Hip dip, knee to elbow, plank position, tap. Tap, other side, hip dip, knee to elbow, center, tap, tap. This one again, keep it nice and controlled. We've got plenty of movements in here that bring our heart rate up. You can really take your time here and get more out of it. Find your stability. Nice work. Essentially, think of it this way. You're in a plank or a variation of for one minute. Simple way to disguise it. I prefer moving. I hate standing still. Probably why I start every day with meditation. To practice stillness. Three, two, perfect. All right, pulse up. Here we go. Sit low. Low, walk it out. Now if you wanted to, if one push up isn't enough, you can always add, by all means. I always want you to make these workouts work for you. Nice work. Beautiful, sitting super low. You should find, I'm always hesitant to use the word should, but you should find this position to get easier and easier the more you expose yourself to it, even within this set. So by our third set, you may feel a little bit more open, a little bit more able to sit nice and low. Nine seconds. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Getting ready for reverse lunge. Three, two, here we go. Step it back. External rotation. You jump as high as you want to on your four squat jumps. Nice work. Step it back. External rotation. Belly stays tight. Come on. Beautiful. Come on. Nice. There you go, Meredith. So, so good. We have 30 seconds. You're doing great. Let's go. There you go, Andrea, come on. Beautiful. Yes. Come on. 20. You got this. We're gonna push through. Don't you stop. Modify if necessary. Six seconds. Oh, those legs. Stomach is next, core is next, two, and one. Single leg be up, three, two. Here we go. Nice, breathe. Now if 10 is too much, you can always reduce your set. Exhale up, inhale down. 
Beautiful. Arms and legs straight on your arch ups. Nice work. 25 seconds. Keep going, come on. Eight seconds. Come on, work it. Perfect. Hip dips. Three, two, here we go. Dip it, lift, knee to elbow, turn, tap, tap. Dip, lift, knee to elbow, turn, tap, tap. So strong. Yes, you guys look so good. Come on. Beautiful. Look at the range of motion that y'all have on this knee to elbow. That's so good. So good. Come on. Nice. Flow. What is your flow? You have 15 seconds right here. Come on. We gotta go through one more time. And then we go into our bonus rounds. <laughs> ha ha. Three, two, one. All right. Pop that. Three, two. Woo! Here we go. Knees drive out. Walk it out. Strong push up. Nice work. Sit low. Remember, you can lift the other foot. That can help. Beautiful. So, so strong. Come on. Nice. Walk it out. Breathing. So, so good. 25 seconds. Sit it low. Get yourself up and out of the hole. By the way, if you don't know, that means the hole is the bottom of the squat. Come on. You have seven seconds. So strong. You're flowing. Three, two, and one. Reverse lunge. Three, two, here we go. I think I find this one the hardest. This is where my legs are like, ah! <laughs> Come on. Probably needs, means I need to do it more. I don't actually jump a lot. Only because of you guys. <laughs> Come on. Push. Big jumps. Come on. Come on. Yes. Push it. 30 seconds. We got it. Come on. Yes. Yes. So good. External rotation. You can do this. 15 seconds. You got it. Come on. I think I did an extra. Maybe. I don't know. It's okay. Three, two, one. V ups. Three, two. Here we go. Last time on these. Exhale up. Inhale back and down. Flip it when you're ready. Arms and legs stay straight. I feel like those always take forever. Come on. 20 seconds. Two, 
One, hip dip. Three, two. Here we go. Final time with this one. You've got it. Final minute of work on this set. Smooth and strong. Don't you give up on yourself. You, my friends, are worthy of every single effort. Come on. Keep at it. Don't you give up. Slow it down if you need to. Modify if you need to. Your body will tell you exactly what it needs. Come on. Beautiful. 15. Pull the lower core up and in. Lift your kneecaps. So good. You have three, two, and rest. Holy smokes. That was great. Woo. You know how sometimes I do ice and heat, like contrast therapy? I feel like after wearing shorts for so many sets, so many days, wearing pants, feels like I'm in a goddamn sauna. <laughs> I want to crawl out of my skin right now. Ugh. So I guess it's good for my brain. I don't know. Okay. Um, my watch is without a charger, so let me just pull up the time here. 10.37. We are golden. Um, if I lose track of time and somebody sees that we're like two minutes from 11, let me know. I'll try to stay on it. But I, again, I don't have my little watch. Okay, and when I use this app, it does not pull up, uh, it doesn't show a regular clock. Okay, we're going into the Tabata. So we have plank hop-ups. What are plank hop-ups? Well, they're similar to modified burpees, except what we do is from here, you're gonna hop, hop back. Okay, now if that's too high up, hop in, hop out. Okay, hop in, hop out. I want you to lift your butt, and then come back to a plank, okay? Try not to land like this, okay? Try to actually keep your butt up kind of high. It does help sometimes to be on dumbbells, so if you're feeling a little tight in your hips, in your core, elevate your hands. We're then gonna go into a simple squat hold. I want it to be a sumo squat, so 20 seconds right here, okay? That's all we're gonna worry about for right now. We start in seven seconds. Hands on the floor. Taking off in three, two, here we go, hop it up, hop it back, breathe. I like to exhale my feet up, inhale back, come on, eight seconds, push tall through your shoulders, come on, three, two, one, that's no joke, feet wide, toes turned out. Hike those hips up or pants up. Three, two, we sit. Zen out. Chill the F out. Play around. What does it feel like if you drop your torso forward? Do you feel that more in your glutes? I know a lot of us believe that we need to be right here, but if we can hinge and keep our spine straight, we're good. Three, two, one, hands to the floor. Getting ready for round two. Clear it out. Three, two, here we go. You got it. Come on. Ten more seconds. Push. Five, three, two, and one. spine tall and hip hinge. I personally feel this more in my glutes when I'm in this forward hip hinge position. Still very actively driving my knees out and back. We have four, three, two, rise up, hands to the floor, set up. Two more rounds. 
three, two, here we go. So strong. Come on. Eight seconds. You can do this. Come on. Push. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Feet wide. Three, two, drop it down. Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Focus on driving your knees out. Relax your shoulders. Grip the floor with your toes. Lower core pulls up and in. Three, two, one, all the way up. Hands to the floor. One more. You've got this. Light on your toes. Three, two, here we go. Think of playing, right? Bring this into a playful mindset. You're just hopping around. Come on. Beautiful. Seven seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh. Sumo. Three, two, here we go. Again, maybe close your eyes. Find your happy place. If you focus on your breath, it does seem to help with the sensation that you feel in your legs. Drive your knees out. Three, two, all the way up. Take a breather. Breathe. Big inhales. Smooth exhales. We are going to get through two more tabatas and then it's over. All right? So, this one I like. I like this one. Quick inchworm. You only move as quick as you're comfortable with. Meredith, if you don't want to inchworm, hop on your cascade if you want. It's totally different, but you've got such an amazing tool. So, quick out, quick up, stand. If you want, when you get here, up, okay? The other piece, jump rope or side to side, okay? Of course, you can also add a push-up to that inchworm. We take off in seven. I'm going to add the hop and a push-up. Three, two, here we go. Come on. How many can you get per round? So strong. Helps to move smooth if your core is turned on. Three, two, and one. All right, if you want to start jumping rope, you can. Otherwise, we go in five, three, two, here we go. I'm doing a little side to side hop. You can also just stay right in the center. Listen to your body. Maybe feet never leave the ground. Nice work. We have five, we have three, two, and one. Woo! Three more rounds. Going in five, four, three, two, here we go. Come on. Hop, hop, let's go. Seven seconds. Push. We have three, two, one. Oh. If you want to start jump roping, you can. Otherwise, three, two, here we go. So yesterday, on my stories, I talked about the inner critic. And I just want to touch base on that a little bit again. So we all have an inner critic. We can choose to listen to it, which means we believe what it says rest, or we hear it, but we don't believe it. 
Going in three, two, and one. So say while you're working out, how often does that inner critic pop up? Just ask yourself that. No judgment. For the remainder of the workout, which really isn't that long, three, two, one. I want you to see if you can hear it, but not listen to it. And replace it perhaps, three, two, one, with encouragement. Don't diss the inner critic, right? She's actually there for a reason. That stems most likely from your upbringing. It's a pattern that you've got to wear out. Rest, if you just dismiss it, you don't actually wear it out. Just don't listen to it. Three, two, here we go. Come on. Let's go. Push. Come on. Ten more seconds. You're so, so strong. Let's go. Push, push, push. This is our last one. Three, two, one. Just jump rope. Three. Actually, that's way ahead. Now we have three, two, here we go. I get excited. <laughs> Come on. Push, push, push. We got one more Tabata to get through, and you are done. Come on, that's like four minutes of work. You can do it. We have three, we have two. Rest, let me check. Oh yeah, we are golden on time. All right, this next one. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna give you three options. Option one, as written, lunge jumps. Option two, reverse lunges. Option three, cross country skiers. The second piece, hollow rocks. We touched on these the other day. What we do is we start here, we roll back, let the feet come up, let the chest come up. <sighs> Trying to rock as smoothly as possible. Okay, this is it for us. Seven seconds. Four, you got this. Three, two, here we go. <sighs> Beautiful, if you're jumping, or lunging, make sure you have external rotation going on. 10 more seconds. Push, come on. We have four, we have three, two, and one. Nice work. We're on our backs. Taking off in three, two, here we go. Hands can be on the top of the thighs, or if you want more of a challenge, Hands reach over our head. 10 more seconds. Squeeze your inner thighs. Put your big toes together. Lift your kneecaps. We have three. We have two. And one. Oh man. This is gonna be a hard duo. Three, two, here we go. Push. Doesn't need to be fast. We just keep moving. Come on. Think of yourself at the top of a hike. You're almost there. You don't want to give up. You see the top. Although I hate looking up at the top. Three, two, one. You know you're close. Your best friend is there encouraging you. Encourage yourself right now. Three, two, here we go. Breathe. Pull your core in. We're almost there. Squeeze in her thighs, lift your kneecaps. Very similar to a plank. We have five, three, two, one. Two more, y'all, two more. Again, your best friend is right there. They're encouraging you. Speak to yourself like you're your best friend. Three, two, here we go. Sometimes you gotta snap some sense into your best friend. 
right? Snap out that self-doubt, snap in some self-love, some encouragement, some confidence. Three, two, one. Oh, good news. Only gotta do those goddamn lunges one more time. Three, two, here we go. Second to last time on our hollow rock. You've got this beautiful body line. Core is pulled in. You can do it. Five. We have three. We have two. And one. All right. Last round of lunges. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. Don't you give up. You're going to push through. Stepping them out is amazing. Come on. Eight seconds. Come on. Push. Three, two, one. Woo. Hollow. Three, two. Here we go. You've got this. Pull your core in. 15 seconds. Come on, reaching nice and long. Nice work. We have just five. We have four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, we're done. Let's see. Perfect. Lay on your back. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Bring both knees into your chest. You can either keep them together or open them up. Regardless, we're rocking at first, side to side. Bring the heart rate down into your nose, out to your mouth. Center yourself, extend the left leg. Bring the right knee, keep the right knee in your chest. Bring it across to the left side of the body, keeping the right shoulder on the ground. If you'd like to, turn your head to the right. That one a hard time. Breathe in over here. That was killer. Nice work. Slowly come back to center. Switch out your knees. Extend the right. Pull the left in. When you're ready, bring it across to the right side of the body. Head can look over to the left. Anchor the left shoulder to the ground. If it's lifting, you've turned too far. Three, two, back to center. Rocking yourself the length of your spine. Nice work. Again, still focusing on your breath. Really trying to reset your system. Come up to, try again. <laughs> Come up to a squat position. And right here, I want you to be in a little tiny ball. And I want you to focus on trying to lengthen your calves. So drag, pull your heels to the floor. Mine don't go to the floor, but that's where they're striving to go. Should be a really good stretch for the back of your calves and really good for the flexion in your ankles. From here, raise your hips up, toe heel your feet out to the width of your mat. Turn your toes out slightly, and then from here, drop into a nice, deep Buddha squat is what I call it, or frog. Take your elbows to your knees and drag your knees out. <sighs> Try to lengthen your spine. We're here for 10. Nine, palms can come together if you'd like. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hands to the floor, hips lift up. So heel the feet back in so they're right underneath your hips. Soften the knees if you would like to. Coming into ragdoll, grabbing opposite hand to elbow, relaxing everything from the waist up. Breathing. We're here for five. We're gonna roll up to the top. Three, two, bend your knees. Roll up, stacking your spine. Interlace your hands behind your back. Reach up and back. You can stay here or you can choose to go back into a forward fold. Either way, we're opening up our chest. You can let those ribs flare. 
we're here for five, four, three, two, release, shake it out, you are done. Nice work. You still have a little extra time if there are any other stretches that you'd like to go through. You all are amazing. If you like this workout, do me a favor, send it to your friends. Go on YouTube and send it to your friends.